and you all thought the Genesis content was gone for good. She is looking better than ever. Look at that. Man, now, she is a bit dirty. Uh, we got stuff falling down all over the place. So we're gonna hit the car wash and get her cleaned up. We got some things to talk about. We're gonna be selling some stuff that I have left over from my build with this. So I think we're gonna look at the hood, uh, my old wheels, I've got my HKS blow-off valve, and I think we're gonna do the lowering springs. So um, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on that stuff. And if you're interested in any of it, you know, shoot me a message. I have my email in the description below, and uh, we'll work something out. But let's go get this thing washed. Okay. Oh yeah. Charging. Your charging tablet is looking awesome as it has been. I actually just redid the wrap on this because it was starting to bubble up a little bit. So this is all freshly rewrapped and is looking perfect. So something I didn't show you guys that I did actually is uh, the paddle shift extensions. They were easy to install. I think I'm going to paint the regular shifters black to blend in. But it's nice because it makes this so much easier to hit the paddles. And honestly, for, for such a simple mod, really kind of changes the driving experience. I know it's weird, but uh, and you wouldn't think it would be. But um, I'll put a link in the description below for those too. But let's go get this thing washed, and then we're going to go look at some parts. So is it just me, or when you go to car wash, do you turn your air on to outside air and the air conditioning up just as kind of like a air freshener sort of thing? Now the Jeep is fun, but it doesn't do this. So you guys are about to get exclusive, unprecedented access to the place where all the crap that I don't know what to do with ends up. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, there's my junk. Well, before we get into that, let's just take a moment here to appreciate how awesome this thing looks glistening in the sun and that is i-97 over there and that's why it's so damn noisy so let's see what we have in here obviously these are my stock wheels we're going to talk about those in a minute that is a project for another time later like probably a ways off in the channel we have my old hood and somewhere in here yeah, right there we have the um, lowering springs so let me get all this stuff out and we'll take a look at what we have all right so let's see what we have here so first off these are my stock wheels they are black they're actually plasti dip and as you can see here it's starting to kind of peel off so underneath of these it's the regular silver um, alloy wheels now there's one of these wheels and which one is it Ah, right here that I had a little bit of an issue with when I was uh, coating them and I actually tried painting them and that didn't work out so well and I ended up having to strip the paint so there's a little bit of rippling here if I were going to keep them I would probably powder coat them and it would look so much better because they really should be sandblasted you know stripped down and then powder coated otherwise they're not bad they uh, you can redo the plastic dip on them or you can put them back to the stock color but if you need a set of pretty cheap wheels this might work for you so the tires that are on them are yokohama s drives i have 225 45 r18s in the front and then in the rear i have 245 45 r18s in the rear and there is some tread life left they're not like totally bald Although I would say that they certainly aren't new. But that's kind of to be expected. This car was the daily driver. I would say those tires have about 20,000 miles on them. But um, all in all, pretty decent shape. So what I'm looking to get out of those wheels and tires together, I would say 400 bucks. You know, 100 bucks a tire. And I would really prefer that these get picked up if uh, you need them Let's say if you live within about 100 miles of me, um, we might be able to work out something where I either bring them to you or we meet halfway. But um, yeah, I'd really prefer that this be a pickup. If they have to be shipped, I will ship them, but you're going to be responsible for the shipping cost. Let's move on to what else is over here. So here we have my stock hood. 
Again, it's in really good shape with the exception of a little bit of scratching. A little bit of surface scratching on the front here, which I don't think is going to come up on camera. I'd actually buffed a lot of it out, but it's down in here. And that was from when a uh, shingle, a roofing shingle, flew up on the highway and uh, hit the front of my car. But overall, the hood is in really, really good shape. And, um, you know, no other damage or anything. It would be a, a great replacement hood for somebody. So on the hood, I haven't really had a chance to look and see what they're going for. But if you're interested in it, make me a fair offer and uh, we'll see where we can go with it. Again, the hood is something that I would really prefer to not have to ship. Um, same thing with the wheels, local pickup or within about 100 miles or so, I can bring it to you. Um, but yeah, if it does have to be shipped, again, it's going to be your cost on the shipping part. So this one will be a little bit easier. This is my HKS blow -off valve. And I've had a couple people ask me about uh, whether or not I would sell it, and I don't see any reason to keep it. So this is the HKS blow -off valve. If you're interested in that, uh, shoot me an offer. I will pretty much go for just about anything that's reasonable. That one I will ship to you because it's pretty small. Now up here we've got what uh, most people were looking at before. These are my ARC GTF lowering springs. They actually lower the car really well. Um, it is a bit of a stiff ride, but that's to be expected with lowering springs. And uh, right now I have them still mounted to the stock towers and I have the stock rear struts in there as well. So you have an option. I will either send these to you just the springs by themselves, which is how you would get it from ARC, or I will ship you everything that you see here in this box. Um, really no cost difference uh, either way. These struts though, you know, just forewarning, they have about 50,000 miles on them and should have probably been replaced a while ago anyway. So again, if it were me, I would probably be looking at just getting the springs, use your own struts, or if you have older struts and you want newer struts, they are technically newer, but like I said, about 50,000 miles on them, so I would probably replace them with uh, something better. These things sell for about $300 brand new. Again, shoot me an email, make me a reasonable offer, and uh, we'll see if we can work something out. These I will ship to you, and I will take up the cost of shipping on that. So that, the blow-off valve, um, both free shipping. But the other ones, we're gonna have to kind of work out something there. But that's what we have. And if you're interested in all of them, let me know, and maybe I can work out a package deal for you. But um, yeah, so we've got stock wheels, stock hood, ARC GTF lowering springs and the HKS blow off valve. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. If any of these things are things that you want or if you know somebody who would want them, uh, make sure you hit me up at the email in the description below. It's vehicle.evolution at gmail.com. Please only email me if you're serious about it. I don't want to just get a bunch of junk email or anything. Um, serious inquiries, please. And we'll work something out. But let's just take a minute to appreciate that. Yeah. I know you guys have been missing her from the channel, but the Jeep is so much fun. And uh, there's going to be more Genesis content, and uh, there's going to be a lot more Jeep content. So that's why I'm trying to clear out this old stuff that I have, uh, make way for some new Jeep mods, maybe a couple new things for the Genesis. But yeah, so that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. But that's all for me for now, guys. Until next time, take it easy.